interview with in front of the crowd. Cool. Hi, I'm Ryan Deaner, and I'm down here with Lydia Simon at Wild Goose Creative, and we're here to tell you a little bit about Wild Goose and what they do here in the community. But before we get there, Lydia, tell us a little bit about you and your story. Sure, so I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, my parents are both artists. My dad is an art professor in Cleveland, and my mom, she was the lead soprano of the Cleveland Opera for a few years. So I um, have grown up around art, and I decided to pursue my bachelor's degree at Ohio State in arts management. So I really love the idea of combining business with art, and it was a really fantastic experience. So I graduated in 2016 from OSU, and then I moved to China to do my um, master's down degree. Down the street. Down the street. Yeah. My master's degree. Um, in Mandarin Chinese. So I was living there researching um, arts districts and cultural policy in Beijing. And then when that was done, I decided to move back to Columbus because the art scene is just phenomenal here. And I saw so much opportunity and I saw um, the ability for me to come back and really learn from the ground up and become involved in the art scene here. And I told myself, if I move back to Columbus, that's what I'm going to do. I, I want to learn how to run a nonprofit. I want to be a part of the art scene. I want to um, just uh, really like create opportunities for artists and, and learn the whole arts management side of like careers and things like that. And, and that's what I did. So I've been here for three years since 2017 at Wild Goose. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you're definitely, I mean, you're fulfilling that what you wanted to do when you came back right here at Wild Goose. Um, so that's, that's great. So tell us a little bit about, more about Wild Goose. First of all, what's your role and what does Wild Goose do sure. as a whole? Yeah, so I am Interim Executive Director here at Wild Goose Creative. We are a nonprofit community arts organization. Uh, we have unofficially been around since 2006 and officially incorporated as a nonprofit since 2008. Um, our mission is to build a creative community at the intersection of art, risk, and meaning. And we offer over 320 events a year connecting arts and audiences here in Central Ohio. So a big part of what we do is provide welcoming and authentic arts experiences for people. Um, we're really proud to offer subsidized rent for creatives to rent the space and do really cool things here. So thanks to organizations like Greater Columbus Arts Council, Ohio Arts Council, Columbus Foundation, we're able to offer that space for creatives and really I, I think space for people to do things at low cost is very hard to come by here in the city so I'm happy that we're able to offer that for, for people and really just build community. Um, all of the events that we offer are pretty much by donation or like at most maybe $10 admission yeah. so we really pride, pride ourselves on, um, on providing those, those accessible experiences, arts experiences. That's, that's great. You guys do put on some great shows, great experiences here in Columbus. And um, you guys have, you know, you've been doing this for a while, but you guys are now expanding. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, so we are expanding to a second location in Franklinton. Um, I should note that we are all-encompassing arts organization in the sense that one night we might have a poetry reading night, the next comedy, the next storytelling, gallery shows performance art, pretty much everything. So we're not just an art gallery. Um, the, the art is actually maybe 10% of what we do, the visual art. So we um, have just recognized that there is a need for more space and we also have kind of like outgrown our space. So um, 188 McDowell is the building that we're expanding into in Franklinton. And uh, we're really excited because it's bigger, it's in a super cool neighborhood and um, and we're really excited yeah. to get that started. Yeah, and your, your first location is here in Old North. What was the address here? This is 2491 Summit Street, yeah. so in between Clintonville and between the University yeah, District. It's a, it's a great it's area. Kind of like no man's, like yeah. so hud. Yeah. That's what they call it. <laughs> and then Franklinton's going to be just another, it's far enough away but close enough to where yeah. you know you can have two two great, awesome locations yeah. in awesome neighborhoods yeah. where the arts just are, are thriving. So really, really cool to see that. Um, you've been a part of the organization for about three years, you said. Mm -hmm. What have you learned or what's been like your, your best experience so far um, yeah. in, in your journey? So I love Wild Goose because I just meet so many amazing people working here. Like I've just created really awesome friendships 
from people from all over. Like we have an amazing board of directors. Uh, I think we've got like 14 or 15 members wow. right now. Um, we're awesome. growing. Yeah. And so we, there's just like a really unique spirit to the folks that are involved here from behind the scenes on the board to the people that come here as people that rent the space and hang the gallery. Like, so my every day is different for me. And I feel like I love that. Like one day I might be help, helping hang a show the next I might be mopping the floors. <laughs> the next time I might be talking to like potential funders and, and planning fundraising events. So, you know, it is challenging in the sense that I am pulled in a lot of different directions because it is a small organization and um, I really do have to have my hand in everything. But at the same time, that's so exciting because I can figure out like, oh, I really do enjoy this. I love this. And um, so, yeah, every day is different here at Wild Goose. And I think like the best experiences I have are or when I go to one of our events, like Speakeasy, which is um, the longest open mic storytelling event here in Columbus, wow. meets every first Thursday. So it's a really, it's a core program here at Wild Goose. And, and I go to a program like that and I sit there in the audience and I just, you know, it, it reminds me the work that we do and it reminds me like we are here for a reason and people support us and, and yeah. we are very meaningful to a lot of people. Um, so, cause sometimes, you know, you get kind of in the weeds with, with so many things, but actually like attending programs and yeah. just reminds me like how awesome this organization is. I love hearing that. That's awesome. Yeah. So, so thank you for, for doing all you do. Obviously, thank you for mopping the floors and doing that. <laughs> um, yeah. So, and, and what do you see in the next three, five, ten years? Where do you really see Wild Goose um, having its hand? Even, obviously you do so much for the art community and the community as a whole. But especially our community here in Columbus, where do you see Wild Goose in the future um, expanding their reach? Sure, yeah. So I really want in the next five to ten years Wild Goose Creative to be a household name. Um, I think we're on the way there. A lot of people know Wild Goose or have heard of Wild Goose, but I'd love to get to the point where people think of Wild Goose and they like know exactly what it is or like the Columbus Museum of Art. You know, everybody knows yeah. the Columbus Museum of Art. So I would love for like everyone in Columbus to know Wild Goose Creative and what we are. Um, the other thing that I see vision wise for us is I think we've naturally, be, we are naturally a community builder in the sense of like we offer these these arts experiences, these, these programs at a very grassroots level, which I think naturally brings people together at a, at a community level. In the future, I see us doing a little bit more intentional work with outreach and mm. building the community outside of our four walls. Mm. Because, you know, as much as we love to say that we offer accessible programming, there's still an equality of accessibility in the sense that we are a space, you know, we have a location and that can be hard to get to transportation wise. You know, there's still barriers to entry. And so figuring out how can we go beyond beyond our four walls and really like engage the community where they're at. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to do more, more of that, those, those types of that's things. That's awesome, I, I, I love that. So thank yeah. you, yeah, that's awesome. Um, I'm excited to see how you do that and what that, what that turns yeah. into. Yeah, and I think um, yeah. our expansion to Franklinton is, yeah. is really gonna be great because we're already in talks with a lot of um, community organizations that will really what we want to do is we don't want to reinvent the wheel but we want to help solve problems that are identified by the community yeah. and um, help really bridge the arts district with the residents of franklinton and figure out a way that you know we can create unique and um you know a little bit maybe more community ownership of yeah. the arts district uh, and things like that yeah, so there's awesome. some some cool projects that we have yeah and that's neat because I mean, columbus has a long history of the art world just Pulling out the areas of Columbus that that are um, that sometimes are struggling and that need help, and so I love hearing that. And the arts here in Columbus has, has been tremendous at that. So so thank you for your heart and, and being there, um, and thank you for doing this video. If people want to find out more about you or Wild Goose, where can they go? Yeah, so you can find more about us at wildgoosecreative.org. We're also on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. We are a nonprofit, so um, our support, the majority yeah. of our su support comes from folks becoming members. You can become a member for as little as $5 a month, as well as, yes, yeah, Ryan is a proud member. It's a great, it's a great um, organization. It's five bucks. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, you hardly notice it, one, but two, it's, it's great just to know you're supporting a local um, yeah. community. I mean, it's 
a cup of coffee, like one cup of coffee yeah. a month, and uh, it really does, your support really does go very, very far in, in helping us uh, keep our doors open. So, um, so yeah, so you can also learn more about becoming a member and things at wildgoosecreative.org slash support, and uh, we're slowly opening the space again, which we're really excited about, so keep an eye out for events and things like that. Um, yeah. Facebook is very updated with all of our events as well as our, our website. Well, thank you for sharing. And uh, thank you for tuning in. Again, I'm Ryan Nito. This is Lydia Simon. And, and support Wild Goose. Go to their website. Become a member. They even have they have more memberships than just the five dollars. They have uh, other other packages that you can get more benefits from. It's well worth your money, and it's well worth knowing that you're supporting an organization that's doing so much for the community here in Columbus. So thank you again, and uh, stay tuned. We'll have more videos just like this about other companies and other nonprofits about in Columbus, Ohio. And we'll hope to see you around. Thanks, Brian. Thank you. Oh, that was great. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah.